What is up guys? Welcome back. Need for Speed Heat. Today we're going to check out some of the challenges, I guess some of the things that are hidden throughout the world map that you can find and collect and get rewards for mainly the flamingos and the graphic art. So if you do enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up. There's quite a few out there and it does take some bit of grind to collect them all, but the rewards are pretty sweet. Now, if you're new to the game or just haven't picked this up yet, or just don't know where it is in your start menu, you tab over to the progression side. You see where it says collections, your guide to the collectibles and activities, but you'll see that it's divided up into districts and then you tab over again and that is over in the global side and the global is all the way all over the map and so we're mainly going to take a look at the flamingos and the street art those are just the collectibles those things that you can drive across the map they're not on the map to begin with you actually have to find them locate them and then collect them so it's not as obvious in the beginning but it does break down exactly how many are in each section which makes it pretty easy i guess to search around but uh, check out these rewards if you unlock all 100 flamingos you get a Porsche Cayman GT4, you do the street art, and you got the Nissan 370Z. Both of them also come with uh, decal patterns, and the Flamingos come with candy pink tire smoke. So pretty cool cars. And the decals, of course, there's an absolute ton of decals. We'll take a look at some of them that you get from the street art and stuff because every single street art one you collect then becomes one of the decals that you can add to the car. The billboards will also take a look at while we're driving around just to let you see what they look like, but it's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's a big, huge billboard, and what you really have to do is just drive through it, crash through it, jump up some sort of ramp and land through it, and of course, it does give you a car as well, um, Nissan GTR, so that's pretty cool. The activities below it, we won't hit any of those because those are already on the map, and I believe it's level 15 is the very last level to unlock these types of activities, and that was the Flamingos, I think. Now, on the actual world map, it's kind of nice, at least a little bit easier to identify some of the things, you know, the little dotted lines I guess divide each of the sections of the city and it tells you how many of each of the activities or the collectibles are in each of the cities. So I'm in Palm City Raceway right now. You see that there's four billboards, eight graphic art, which I already collected and you can see them appear on the screen with the little like spray paint can with a check mark on it. We have flamingos, five of them, the drift one, there's only two, speed traps, three, and long jumps are two. And like I said, the activities, the long jumps, the drifts, and the speed traps, those are always on the map. You don't have to actually locate them. But the uh, billboards, the spray paint, or the graphic art, and the flamingos, you actually have to drive within the vicinity of them in order for them to appear on the map. And uh, the ones that do not have a check mark are the ones that I have not collected yet or the billboards that I've not ran through. So we have one billboard in Palm City and we have four flamingos that we still haven't collected. Two of them I drove past, I still haven't done yet, still haven't collected them yet. All right, so let's take out our Mercedes AMG, the car that we got from the pre-order and we unlocked at rep level 14. The kit looks pretty sweet, the car is pretty nice almost 200 rep I guess for the car which helps especially when at least with this progression that I'm at right now I'm hitting around some of the races are between 220 and 240 so it's almost time for me to start doing that car project I'm really trying to wait till I hit rep level 20 because I want to do it on the Mustang and be able to dump all of that but anyways let's get out here so here's what the flamingos look like and like I said they are just placed randomly all over the city so many of them in each little section of the city and really all you have to do is when you see one or at least it pops up on the map then sometime go back around it and then just run it over and then when you run it over you get extra bank you get extra rep and then it tells you how many are left so that was our second one in palm city and we're getting even closer to be able to do this and unlock all of palm city stuff 
Now the graffiti art is a little bit easier, I guess, to find because uh, at least all the ones that I've found so far are all on buildings. So basically on all the places that have buildings, when you look at your map, uh, you just drive around there and they will, and you'll be able to see them. And so here's what one of them looks like down by the door. And uh, it'll have, again, a little spray paint icon above it. You come over there, you collect it, and uh, that gives you your graffiti art. And since we're out here, we might as well crash through a billboard just so you can see what it's like. But uh, yeah, these are a little bit easier to spot since they're close to the roads, I would say. And they're obviously a lot bigger than graffiti art. And they're a lot bigger than the flamingos. So pretty much with all of the billboards, you're going to look for a ramp. You see a ramp to the top right there and uh, just basically get some speed, jump over the ramp or on top of the ramp or through the ramp, whatever you want to say, and then crash through the billboard and basically self-explanatory, right? So let's get this billboard knocked out. Since we're here, like I said, you're going to see a little ramp right there. We're going to hit the nitrous right before there, jump right through it, crash. And uh, we knocked out the billboard. So pretty simple, even though I think we jumped over the billboard. I think we went too far, but it still gave it to us. So that's cool. So we're going to head over to an area that I haven't even been yet, actually, part of the map. And uh, I'm going to let you see what it looks like when you drive by and these graffiti things are unlocked. Or at least it tells you on the screen where they're unlocked. Same with the flamingos, too. You know, when you drive by and you can see them. So uh, we'll kind of have to see what it looks like. And... I've never been over to this side of the city, so I'm kind of interested to see what, you know, what it actually has. Not sure if I just unlocked it because it doesn't look familiar at all. I don't know why I've never been over here, but uh, we're still going to check it out. Man, this Mercedes is so much faster than, than the other cars that I've driven so far. Feels pretty good. Handles pretty good. I put some drift tires on it. Uh, some drift tires that I had in stock, so doesn't quite cut it when it comes to the drift races though i tried to do a drift race and uh still couldn't get enough power behind the drifts so we might have to wait for the three star those shoot. yeah shoot oh hey he's just talking about that Well, we're I usually just drive straight through them. For real? All right. <laughs> yeah. Try it. I think I will. So they're talking about flamingos right now. Um kind of nice right on cue. So like I said, the graffiti art, you usually find around the buildings and then the flamingos, they could be absolutely anywhere. Sometimes in the middle of the, you know, open field, sometimes by buildings, sometimes in the middle of the street. Billboards obviously more towards by the road but uh usually what i do as far as the graffiti art goes i just find a place like this and then uh i drive just see we already hit one up that little thing that popped up on the left side of the screen it said flamingo nearby and that's because right when we turn this corner we are within some sort of vicinity of it and then as you see then it pops up on the map and then we can run it over so let's run over this flamingo real quick and let's see if we can find us some graffiti. Get out of my way. All right. Let's see if we can find us some graffiti art, which I'm sure we will because there's a lot of buildings over here. Just drive through. Hey, we got a church. Can't believe that one building had all that graffiti art on it and didn't have any anything. Oh, we had got found another garage. Billboard nearby. Okay, so see that unlocked. There's the billboard right there. And uh, there's the ramp right in front of us. So we could hit that one up as well. We're going to look for some graffiti art, though. Oh, there we go. If 
finally found one of the street arts so uh this one on it looks like to be a hotel nice little bunny rabbit with a little eye patch on it so uh we go up to it right we find it hit that little collect button and now it's available to put on any of our cars we're gonna try to get this billboard knocked out while we're here hit that nitrous Ooh, barely clipped the bottom of it right into some rocks, but still got it. Now, all these cars that came with the pre-order, at least the four or five of them, actually. Yeah, all five of them have, I guess, special designed wraps on them. So they all the customization that you can do to the car, change the color, change the wrap, change any of that stuff. All of that is unavailable. So uh, we're going to have to switch to our 180X sx 180 sx and then the customization comes up we go over here to the paint and wraps and then uh edit wrap we're gonna put on some decals let's go over to the hood i guess or to the front and then um add a layer and then if we scroll or tab over all the way to where it has the little spray paints and stuff these are the ones that uh, we've gotten unlocked by, I guess, finding the little decals or whatever. And here's that little bunny rabbit that we found. And there we go. We added a red bunny to the hood of our car. And not necessarily saying that you're going to want that particular one, but um, at least it gives you options. I mean, I think it said that there was 110 graffiti arts that you could collect. And then after you collect each of the stages, I guess, or each of the sections of the city, then and it also unlocks more decals. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention, if you go into each of the districts, for example, the West Side District, which I have 0% done, you can kind of get an idea of what it is you're looking for. So as far as the street art goes, the things on the side of the walls, like I said, it'll tell you when you drive close. So if you're within the vicinity, I mean, it's going to show up on the map anyway. But uh, just in case, you know, this is what, you know, you can at least see what they look like. And then the billboards, it also shows you kind of like the background. So it'd give you an idea of roundabout, maybe where to go in the section of the city. Like this one in the middle of the street where a corner is. Not that you can necessarily find that exactly right away on the map, but at least kind of give you an idea of what it is you're looking for, which makes it a little bit easier. The flamingos, they don't tell you what they are or where they are. Because like I said, those things can be absolutely anywhere in the middle of the grass, on the side of the street, close to the water, on top of a hill. You know, just all sorts of places. But I am certainly interested in trying to uh, knock out some of these collectibles. Really try to go through, at least spend maybe one of these times, maybe tomorrow or sometime this weekend. Go through one of them. I'm thinking that uh, I kind of want the Nissan GTR. Probably out of all three of them, uh, then maybe the Porsche came in. So either the billboards or the flamingos, maybe try to grind out this weekend, knock out all 85 or 100 of them, and then do like some showcase with the car, what it looks like, if it comes with a, a kit on there. I'm not sure if, now that I think about it, since the pre orders came with all the decals and everything on there, so you can't customize it. I'm wondering if it's just the Porsche that comes with the candy pink tire smoke and the flamingo decals or if that's just or if it comes plain and then you can put whatever decals and smoke and all that stuff that you want underneath it but anyways guys that's going to do it for the video hopefully you did enjoy if you have not picked up this game yet then what are you waiting for if you enjoy racing games i'm definitely having a lot of fun there are still certainly things that uh i wish they had mainly specific cars that i really miss and a little bit of customization that i think they left out but overall still i think it is really fun and i'm having a really good time playing it hopefully you're enjoying watching if you do hit that thumbs up if you're new sub to the channel if you want some more need for speed content but uh, i'll see y'all in the next video i'm out peace